Hello and welcome back to another Cookie Taker video. In today's videos, I'm going to be teaching you on how you can use rank gun hooks to send requests to Discord webhooks from Roblox Studio. Keep in mind, rank gun hooks are super fast, they're 100% free, easy to convert, and they abide by all TOS. So that includes the Roblox TOS and the Discord TOS. So to get started, I'm going to be telling you how you can get easily started. If you want to do more advanced things, I would recommend you have some experience in scripting. But for the beginners, I would recommend you follow this tutorial. So first of all, we're just going to start by making a basic hook. To do this, we need to head to the hooks builder, and this hooks builder will help us create requests for our server. To start out, we actually need to send requests to our Discord webhook. So to get our Discord webhook, we're going to have to head over to our Discord server, and we need to select on the cogs, and we need to click on the cog where we want the Discord webhook to be. So let's click on edit channel, head to integrations, click on create webhook, let's go here, and then let's copy webhook URL. If you want, you can give this hook a picture, and you can give it a custom name. I'm just going to give it a name, and I'm going to call it cookies hook, and then we're going to save changes. Then we're going to copy the webhook URL, we're going to head back to our browser, and we're going to paste in this webhook. There you go, it's all pasted in. Make sure you don't share your webhook with people you don't trust, otherwise it could get spammed or abused, but for the whole part it should be okay. Now content is just like sending a message, so if we head back to our Discord server, the content of this message would be hi. So let's try sending a message, we're going to say hi, and then we're going to click convert. Then it's going to say code generated, and it took us down here. So let's copy this URL, and let's paste it into our new tab. To that it says success, and if we look here, you can see it sent a request to our hook. If you don't know the reason we're doing this, it's because Discord blocked Roblox from sending requests to their server due to abuse. I believe there was a lot of spam and that makes kind of sense, but this is a safe alternative to use. Now let's say we want to send an embed. An embed basically is this nicely formatted message that is nice to look at. So it's kind of hard to explain, but let's click on embed activated and let's just give it a title. Hello and welcome. Let's just say make sure to like and subscribe. And as you can see, it asks for the color here, so I'm just going to go to a color picker. Let's look up online, color picker. Let's head to here. And as you can see, I just have this little color picker here, and it lets me pick colors. So let's say we want this nice color here. Let's make it a bit yellow. There we go. Then we're going to copy this hashtag. We're going to paste it here. We're going to remove the hashtag. We're going to select footer active. The footer active is just some text that is at the very bottom of the red. And let's say bye. And then let's convert it. We get this nice new URL. Let's visit it in our browser. Success. Head back to Discord. And look, we have our nice embed with the color. Now I'm going to show you how you can send these requests from Roblox. Now that we're in Roblox, let's say that somebody wants to send the embed from Roblox. So let's just copy the request URL and head back to our game. Now we can't send HTTP requests unless our game is published. So we're going to publish that. The hotkey for that is Alt MP. We're going to turn off Team Create as we don't need it. And then we're going to say oh, hooks test. If you already have an instance or a game, don't worry about this. Close, head to game settings, head to security and allow HTTP requests. Then turn this on and we're ready to get started. So let's start by making a script and server script service. And this script will be responsible for sending requests to our rank on server. So let's just say local URL equals, and that's the request URL. And let's just do something super big. So let's just do something super simple. So let's get our HTTPS service, local HTTPS underscore service equals game get service HTTP service. And then let's just say we want to send a request to that URL. We're going to say HTTP service, get, get a sync, and then we're just going to put URL in there. And this script will run as soon as the game starts. So let's click on play. Let's give it a couple of seconds. Loading, loading. And look, it sent the request. And that happened for me just playing a game in Roblox. Let's just make a super simple system that will send a request to our rank on server every time someone joins the game. 
So let's head back to our script and let's say game dot players dot player added connect function player and this will get the player that's trying to join and then we're going to drop a line and then we're going to say local url equals and this time we're just going to copy this from up here let's remove that old variable and then let's paste that here and let's say we want to add some custom fields so i'm going to remove this footer here so i'm going to remove the text i'm going to set the footer to be false i like to keep the color title we'll set to a new player is joining so let's just see until we find titles equals there we go and we're going to set this to a new player has joined the game and then we're going to set the description to be custom so let's drag from here then let's put in a break and then let's concatenate it with a message so let's just say player dot name then let's leave a space has joined the server okay now let's publish this and run it and see if it works so we're joining the game okay ah it looks like we have an error there okay let's head back we accidentally forgot to send a request to our server so let's try doing it here now let's publish and play again and let's see if it works this time so we're in let's check our log no errors no errors and there we go look we have a simple basic hook so thank you for tuning in to today's video if you can't tell, I'm still a little bit sick, so sorry for the lack of uploads in the past two weeks. I'll be sure that I let a ton of videos come out. Happy Christmas, that's all from me, and I'll see you in the next video.